things, nothing, no water, no fruit. And uh, we weren't able to minister like we wanted to, but I'm going to give it to you today. I'm going to amen. Amen, have a few days to kind of replenish it. Amen. Uh, get my, my, my strength back and, and ask God to move on behalf of us. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you what, that the outlook, the outlook might be gloomy, but the outlook is still glorious. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said the outlook might be gloomy. But the uplook, <laughs> look unto the hills from with coming all of my help. <laughs> thank God for the doctors. Thank God for the psychiatrists. Thank God for my friend. But all of my help is coming from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 21. Let's go there. Amen. Let me share with you what I've been able to do on. On, on, on Wednesday night, let me just share that and we'll uh, go down from this place. Blessed to the Lord on today. Thank you, uh, um, Approach the, the day of Thanksgiving that's set aside nationally, but how many of you know that every day is a day of Thanksgiving? Yes. Every day. Thank God that a time is set aside where family yes. and friends can come together. And, amen. Uh, my wife was able to spend uh, almost an hour just just hugging you or just reminiscing just talking on last night I said I'll oh, get you son he, he'll be here amen he just uh, just, just homesick just want to get here amen and uh, we miss it don't we yes, yes. we uh, need him yes. amen so uh, we were planning to have service on Wednesday I know some of y'all will have your families over and baking those uh, big turkeys and those pies and all that, but let's come out here on Wednesday for a few hours and then, amen, you can have all day Thursday to share, get up early, Thursday, finish your cooking, get your devil eggs together and your, your dressing and all that other stuff, amen, the family can come together and then, amen, y'all can, don't, don't, don't go to the movie on Friday, y'all go to the movie on Thanksgiving Day, y'all got all that time to share, amen, come out here on Friday night, let's just make it a double hat, amen, amen, before and after. Amen. On Friday night, let's come on out and, 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 and share uh, in the goodness of the Lord. All right. Amen. We certainly wish everyone a blessed Thanksgiving and yeah. amen that it will be uh, peaceful, prosperous, will be a blessing to your family. The families can come together and share without fussing and cussing and fighting and, yeah. and drinking a candle where we can just have good fellowship. Yeah. Amen. How many know you don't have to have no funeral for your family to get together? Yeah. Have to be. In fact, the only time we come together is when there's no tragedy. And all that, but let's change all of that, all right? Amen. So this Thursday, share together as family. Amen. Stand your feet, everybody. Let's reference the Word of God in Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. I'm going to read for you verses 9 through 12. All right? And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had bore unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son. For the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. Verse 12 And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad. And because of thy bondwoman, and all that Sarah hath shall, uh, all that Sarah hath said uh, unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. You can close your Bibles. Look at your name and tell them, uh, Nate, Amen. it's time, it's time. to kick the devil out. Look at somebody and say, it's time to kick the devil out. You've been in bondage long enough. Now you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. It's time to kick him out. You've been in bondage long enough. You've been, hallelujah, going around this mountain. You've been carrying this train. Hallelujah, you've been strung out long enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you've been in out of jail long enough. Come on. Hallelujah. You've been running from pillar to post. Hallelujah. You've been vacillating. <laughs> Get that monkey off your back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Did you hear what I said? It's time. Oh, 
all of this praying and all of this fasting and all this believing God. And yet, how did the devil just grab us? Am I God? All this victory. It don't take but one word for you to backslide. It don't take but one person to stand up here. You lose all the joy you did. Maybe somebody says, time to kick him out. Son. In our text, when I first read this, I, I, I got, I, I was upset uh, within uh, myself concerning Sarah. I got upset with her. I, 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 Sarah, wait a minute now. You're the one. You're the cause. Right. That thing wouldn't have been if you hadn't opened your mouth. That's right. You're the one that told Abraham. You're the one that said, hey, I, I can't give you no children, so you take my hand in. And I have children through heaven. Oh, y'all know how we do. We get in a messy situation and then we blame God. Yeah. We dip and we dab and we go on and then we get that. God, why, why, why? When we're the cause, yeah. we're, we're, the, we're the cause of the situation. And here was Sarah, but she was the one that told Abraham to go unto Hagar, amen, so that she could bear children. She might have done it thinking she was helping God out. She might have done it because she said, well, uh, God promised you some children, and I know I can't do it, and so, uh, well, I'm not going to stop the plan of God. But how many know that God don't need us uh, to intervene when it comes to Him working miracles? Now, don't get me wrong, because uh, there, there are certain miracles that you got to play a part in. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, if for, for Lazarus to come forth, sometimes you got to roll away the stone. Uh, you got uh, you, you might be up on the sick of my uh, more tree like, like Zacchaeus, but you got to come down. Yeah. Yeah, then you'll go into you. Well, come on now. So, so don't get me wrong. But, but, but sometimes, what, what I'm saying, even on Wednesday night, is that we get out of the will of God because we get impatient. Uh -huh. yeah. We get out of the will of God because we don't understand the ways of God. And, and let me tell you something, baby. You can live a hundred, a thousand years, and still you never understand God. Amen. It's beyond human comprehension. It's beyond your understanding. You'll never be able to figure God out. That's why every time I turn on those religious programs where they got trying to document with Jesus here and Christ there, well, let me tell you something. Now, let you, it, the sign that he was here and all of that, that can make you believe. Uh, they got all oh, well, well, find this for me and show me that. And what well, if he never showed it to me? I read it in his word. Uh, if you never find the spot, I ain't going to sit there arguing with nobody about uh, what you believe. If you want to believe that, that's up to you. If you want to accept the fact that, uh, that the Bibles are written by men and, and men and all that other stuff, you want an excuse for not believing, that's up to you. All right. But that's for me and my house. Yeah. <laughs> I believe every word that's written in here. I believe it. I believe it. Hallelujah. I believe what God says is true. I believe that this word, hallelujah, uh, God know how to protect what's his. We're trying to defend the word of God. You got to defend God. God will defend himself. Amen. When God get ready to show up, <laughs> hallelujah, everybody mountains begin to tremble. Do you hear me? <laughs> when God get ready to show up, all the trees will bow down at his presence. Amen. I mean, you know I'm telling the truth. God, God, God will do that. God will do that. And, and, and so we got to understand that trying to prove God. So, so Sarah was trying to, I guess, help God out. And she felt like uh, here she was, uh, uh, Abraham. 90 in his 90s and amen here she is not too far behind right. uh, uh, she had gone beyond her flowering age I can't have no children no you can't but God can yeah. look at somebody says anything too hard for God <laughs> oh, come on now come on come on come on come on God 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 uh, and you see because if you're going to doubt if you're going to doubt Sarah you'll doubt the virgin man Dr. Sarah had a baby at that age. Uh, what about Mary that never knew a man? Look out now. Come on, church. Uh, if you're going to believe it, let's believe the whole road. Let's, let's go what God is saying. And so here he is, God. Uh, and even when, when the angel of the Lord spoke and said that Sarah's going to uh, have a child, she began to laugh. Yeah. She began to mock. Uh -huh. They said, what's Sarah laughing about? She, I didn't laugh and I, she tried to cover it up. Uh, uh, the fact that she wasn't because she didn't feel like it was possible. But oh, when God got ready. <laughs> Look at somebody say, when God get ready. Look at somebody else say, when God get ready. Now, 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 look back at her and say, it's time now, it's time now. Because God is ready. God is ready. 
ready for you to kick the devil out. Tired, tired of the devil's mess. Tired of, hallelujah. I'm tired. Hallelujah. Time to kick him out. So Sarah, she looked up at me, and after she was blessed with the child, after she was blessed, and ever heard, see, I, I've given unto Abraham a son at an old age. And, I, and, and then, and then uh, Hagar and Ishmael start picking at him. Start making.